We're talking about Christmas gifts during the commercial break. If your kids got any smart toys for gifts, you'll want to hear this. Privacy advocates are concerned those internet-connected toys are allowing companies to collect data on children. CBS News' Anna Werner introduces us to one mom who missed the fine print. Can I have some colors? New York mom Katie Taramiji bought what she thought was a cool toy for her daughter Aubrey a couple Christmases ago, something called a fuzzable friend. You hit the button, and it speaks in its own special language. Then you ask, hey, Alexa, what did my fuzzable say? And Alexa says, like, she, it wants to play with toys or something. It's the kind of fun a connected toy can make possible. But buried in the terms and conditions, which her mom says she never read, Creativity Inc., the company whose technology allowed the fuzzable to connect to Alexa, disclosed they collect anonymized information about their users and could generate transcripts of what children were saying. I don't like it at all. It's just one example of a growing trend, say nonprofit researchers at the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, or PERG. Their recent report says smart toys bring new risks, including microphones and cameras paired with significant data collection. PERG's RJ Cross. Having any data collected on a child that isn't strictly necessary is really reckless and unsafe. Because often she says that data, although anonymized, is sold to advertisers. And she and other experts say it can be used to create profiles of children just like it can for adults. Even educational tech products can have privacy risks. When Human Rights Watch analyzed 163 educational computer learning products endorsed by 49 countries during the pandemic, 146 of them, some 90 percent, were found to have put at risk or directly violated children's privacy and other rights for purposes unrelated to their education. The Electronic Privacy Information Center, or EPIC, is calling on the Federal Trade Commission to strictly limit data collection on children. It's just not really realistic uh, for parents, as you say, to be able to parse these legal documents, understand what's happening technologically. The FTC declined to comment. Amazon told us the third-party Fuzzable Kids skill is not currently available for Alexa customers, so Alexa cannot interact with the Fuzzable Friends toy. The device is not built by Amazon and does not have Alexa built in. Tara Miji says she'll be paying more attention to the fine print from now on, but doesn't think she should have to. I should be able to trust the toy makers that are putting the toys on the market. You assume they're looking out for your child's best needs. Anna Werner, CBS News, San Francisco. The manufacturer of the Fuzzable Friends and the company that provided the connection to Alexa, Creativity Inc., did not respond to CBS's News' request for comment.